Hey, I'm Nat from the High Priestess Temple and today I'm going to show you how to make a manifestation spell bottle. Okay, so I'm going to show you the altar behind me and point out the most important items and the things that you're going to need for this manifestation spell bottle and some of the things that are nice to have but maybe you don't necessarily need that I've just chosen to have. Okay, so let's have a look. So the first item here is some magic spell candles. These are purple ones. You can use any color that suits your intention. And then over here, I've got some loose leaf white sage and some frankincense resin. And that is not 100% necessary for this manifestation spell bottle, but um, it's what I'm going to be using as my incense. Um, so I'm going to put some of these pieces on my charcoal right now, which you can see over here in my mini cauldron. There we go. And these um, herbs and resins mirror what I'm actually putting inside my spell bottle. So I thought it would be a really nice thing to put in the burner as well. So there we go. I love a smoky cauldron. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> Looks really cool. Okay, so back to our elements. So as you can see here, there is my purple spell candle. I have my little mini glass bottle that's going to contain all my magical ingredients. I have some Himalayan salt. And this is really good for making the foundation layer of your spell bottle because it acts as a really good um, anchor for all of the other energies that you're going to put in and a, and a really like grounding foundation. And it's purifying as well. And then I've got my little scroll. I'm not going to show you what I've written on there, but that's um, to put inside. So that represents what I want to manifest. And then over here, these little sachets, by the way, came in my Trinket Treasures subscription box, which I'm absolutely in love with. This is Carnelian, Amethyst and Quartz. Carnelian is going in because it has the energy of creativity and motivation. Amethyst is going on because it has the energy of purification and wisdom. And clear quartz is going in because it is an amplifier of all other energies. And then the herbs that are going in, bay leaf, which represents manifestation and wishes, white sage, as you know, purifying and making sure that there are no bad um, energies or just energies that are not aligned with what we want. And rose petals are for luck and happiness and for bringing my wishes to me in a way that feels um, loving and passionate and nurturing. And then finally over here, this is chamomile. So chamomile is going to go in at the top to act as the last element that goes in because it represents for me today a sunny outcome. And then we've got frankincense oil here and this is going to anoint my candle and frankincense like clear quartz is an amplifier of other energy. So you can think of frankincense as the clear quartz of the essential oil world. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do to start with is I'm going to anoint the candle and then I am going to light the candle and that begins the, the spell work, the ritual. I've already prepared my space, I've cleansed my space and I've called in my um, circle of protection. So obviously you should do that or just prepare your space in whatever way suits you and your spirituality. You can also call in any deities or spiritual helpers that you're working with at this time or anybody who you feel would be a good support to you for this particular type of spell. So I've done all that, so I'm gonna go ahead and anoint my candle and then light it. We're gonna be using this candle to seal the spell bottle at the end. So we want to light it at the beginning so that it's got nice and warm and the wax has got nice and drippy and melty. Okay, so here is the candle. And I'm just gonna take a few drops of the oil in my hands, rub from the middle up as above, and then from the middle down, place that there, so you can see, and then from the middle down, so below. And it is anointed. Okay, there we go. So the next step is the exciting part. It is when we fill the bottle. So I'm gonna take the bottle here like this Take the cork out. I'm gonna start with my scroll. Just gonna pop that in there, you see? So cute. And while you are filling your bottle, you want to be really visualizing the thing that you're asking for, that you want to manifest, the thing that you've written down on your scroll. You want to really be thinking about that and thinking about how you'll feel when that comes into your life. So as with all magic and energy work, because magic is just energy work, it's just using energy in a powerful way, um, it's not really so much about the external things that we use, it's more to do with what is going on for us on the inside it's our feelings. We don't manifest by doing, we manifest by feeling. So with a manifestation spell bottle such as this, or any type of spell work, or any type of visualization or manifestation work that you do, it is all about how strong your intention is and whether you can align your vibrational frequency to that which you want to draw into your life. So that is why how we feel about ourselves and clearing any um, blockages or anything like self-doubt or um, imposter syndrome or lack of confidence or any kind of internal obstacles that we've got going on. Clearing that is so important to manifestation work and becoming a more powerful witch and a more powerful spell worker because when we clear that our vibrational frequency is able to rise and we're able to become more of a vibrational match for the life that we want and for healing and vibrant health too. So it's really important. I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, so here we go with the Himalayan salt. It's quite hard for me to, there we go. I'm just gonna pop those. They're just like little uh, crystals here, the salt. And 
like anything, it's really up to you how much of um, each ingredient you put in and how and, and what order they go in. I've chosen to put the salt at the bottom because um, for me it creates the first foundational layer and a really nice layer of protection and purification um, representing the earth element. But you don't need to do that if you don't want to. You can um, obviously change the ingredients that you put into this and you can change the order if you want to. Again, it's all about your intention. Okay, so that is our salt. Next, I'm going to put the crystals in. So I don't know if you can see there my crystals. In goes the amethyst. All these are quite big. The smaller the pieces that you get, the better for this. because then they'll kind of fit in around your scroll. Carnelian and the rest of the amethyst. There we go. See that? So we have white sage and then we have bay leaf pieces those in there and then we also have some pretty red rose petals just scrunch them up and pop them in let's put some of this bay in the burner there Okay, and then finally I'm going to get the chamomile. And these are just the dried flowers. Um, they go in the top. Scrunch it all down. Oh, it looks so pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to pop the cork on top. There we have beautiful spell bottle. The scroll kind of went to the back. I wanted it to stay in the middle, but it moved when the crystals when the crystals went in. <laughs> but that's fine. They're all in there. Okay. So the last step, as I said, is to seal the bottle which is sealing in your intention, sealing in all of the magic, all of the energy from the elements that you've put in here. And it's kind of finalizing the spell and completing the um, ritual of manifestation. Okay, 
So there we are, all sealed with purple wax. Even a nice drip down the side there. So there we have it. The manifestation spell bottle is complete. So what you would do with this next is um, you can either keep it with you, keep it in your bag or your pocket um, for the next um, few days or weeks. Um, or if you've written a, a time scale on your scroll, um, for example, I did, um, it was a time scale of 30 days. So I'm going to really work with this spell bottle. This, this spell bottle <laughs> for 30 days. So I'm going to keep it with me. I'm going to keep it um, on my altar here. And then um, when I go out, I'm going to take it with me so that I can just stay connected to the energy and so that when I look at it I'm reminded of my wishes and I'm reminded of the spell work that I did because even though we do these manifestation rituals and spell work and we are aligning our energetic frequency to what we want to bring in we also have to do the work right it doesn't just suddenly turn up on a doorstep you know um, all of this energy work that we're doing is a real help and it helps to draw these things to us but it's a co-creation with the universe so we need to do our bit as well so when you do these things and, and you make these little sort of talismans and things like that they can serve as a reminder to you as you go through your days and your weeks to remember your dreams, to remember your goals, to remember what was so important to you that you created a whole ritual, a whole spell around it, to remember that and to make sure that you're doing little things each day to bring you closer to that goal. And then we're co-creating with the universe and that's how magical manifestation happens. I hope that you have enjoyed this little video. I'm going to be making lots more of these. So if you have, please subscribe to the High Priestess Temple YouTube channel and hit the notifications bell. And please do come and join us in the High Priestess Temple membership if this is the sort of thing that you want to learn more about and you want to be in a community of other women who are also stepping up and creating the life that they want but also reclaiming the old ways of our ancestors and working with the cycles of nature and the lunar cycles. So um, you can pop over to the website to learn a little bit more about that if that feels like something you might be interested in joining. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.